Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to the channel. We're on another seven days that I have a video here in Alpha 19. We are doing another POI versus Blood Moon Horde challenge video. Haven't done one of these in a while. Lots of people have been asking me to start these again, and I always enjoy these. So we are at the cemetery down here in the Burnt Forest. I'll show you where it's down on the map. This is Navis game. Coordinates are right here in case you want to try it out, and the coordinates will be in the video description down below, of course, if you want to go try this out yourself. This is one of the most requested ones I have here. This is the POI. It's just called Cemetery 02, I think, in case you're looking for it yourself. All right, so if you're new here and you don't know how this works, basically, people give me suggestions of POIs, which you can do that in the comments down below, and I keep a running list. I go through and try to clear it out the best I can without dying, and then before the Horde night that night, I try to fortify it the best I can and run it against a horde. Sometimes you get some little stragglers that show up before the party actually gets started. Now, I am doing as a horde every night. So we're on day 45. Uh, you can see over here that we are game stage is about 117. So we're probably not going to need not going to get any demos, but we've got a decent number of zombie kills. So that's how we run this here, in case you're new and you're just kind of curious. I don't know this POI, haven't played it myself, so I'm going to be real curious as to how big this one actually is. Now, something that has become kind of popular in this series is people like to choose POIs that are terrible to run against hordes. And, you know, specifically, I think it's just because people like to see me die. Oh, hail to the no. Carl. You can go right on down, chunky butt. Okay, so yeah, I am running with... <laughs> Bam's just going to town over here by himself. No. Lay down, dude. So, my character is quite beasted up right at the moment. I do have quite a few stats up. I'm not sure what level I'm in. But, you know, over the time of playing these, I have leveled up quite a bit. So, my stats are pretty high, and I'm a pretty powerful guy. And I also do give myself quite a bit of ammo because at this point, the hordes have been rather terrible. Most of the POIs that we have done have gotten completely destroyed. So yeah, I am a bit overpowered for what you normally would see here, but by day 45, if you're playing this legit, then you'd probably see this kind of stuff anyway. Hey, what's up, Sylvia? Sorry I can hit you right in the knee. Go ahead and end your ice skating career, and now you're a crawler, and you're on fire. <laughs> to put you out of your misery. All right, so let's see. All right, so that goes down. Let me double check in here and make sure there's nothing special. Now, in this series, I don't worry about looting here. If I find something that's just a truly cool secret, I'll show you guys so you can, you know, see it yourself. But I'm not worried about looting here because I've got plenty of stuff on me. So this isn't about trying to find the good stuff and the secret loot necessarily. This is about just trying to get through the POI the best I can and trying to survive the Horde Knight. That's what this all is about. It's a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes we survive, sometimes we don't. Uh, we are in the Burnt Forest here. Unlike with the Wasteland Warrior series, I don't have the fog turned off in this one. So it is a little bit uh, misty outside. And as we get down here, you can kind of see the fog in the distance in case you're wondering what that weird haze is. Oh, hey, what's up, girl? I'm just going to beat your head in because... Wait, did you just... Where did you come from? Okay, so we've got some booby traps along the ceiling here. I think I can hear somebody beating along the outside. All right, so I'm trying to get an eye for what we have here. we got lots of reinforced columns here, so if things went bad up above, I don't see anything going to uh, cause any kind of uh, collapse down here. So if I can get some sort of... I'm not quite sure yet exactly as to what I'm going to do with this. Uh-oh, don't you come running up at me. Bad, bad girl. Don't do that. Let me guess, you got some more of your friends right up here? Nope, that one's solid. Man, all of y'all have got some serious drinking problems or something. Your coordination's a little off, maybe you got an inner ear problem, I don't know. But every single one of you come out, stumble, and fall down. It's kind of funny. Hey, there's the uh, crematorium. I can hear a few people upstairs. Just trying to go through and clear out as much as possible. Go ahead and hit both of Ow, hit both of y'all. Is there somebody behind me? Or did you just get a lucky swing? Yeah, there you go. I've always enjoyed these series. I started doing these series back in Alpha 16, I think it was, uh, when I did just one of the default houses, and I had a lot of people just like, oh, Cap, well, you should do such and such. Ran into a wall there. And so, yeah, um, over the years, I've done a lot of these different kinds of POIs, 
because people keep recommending, hey, you should try this POI, you should try that one. And so after a while, it just became, kind of became a thing here. And I guess this is where some main loot is. We got a reinforced chest. I'm going to open it just since I'm here. On the off chance I find something better. I'll go ahead and take the ammo since I am actually using ammo here. Shamway crates here. Some first aid stuff. Safe up on the wall there. Not too bad. This it may or may not be the actual main loot here, but it looks kind of like it is. I mean, this seems like it's the end of the road as far as how this POI goes. Let's see if there's anything behind this. I doubt it, but nope. Nothing back there. Just an empty wall. All right, so that might be all there is when it comes to the catacombs. It looks like what I'm going to try to be doing here is figure out a way to utilize this catacomb as a way to get the zombies here. We got a nice little section of spikes here. Probably clear out some benches. Need to go upstairs and make sure everything's cleared out. If I can get a way for them to tunnel down inside here or fall down in here while I'm up above in a nice, safe, secure area, which I might be able to build something between the uh, columns up here like I've done in the past. I don't know. We'll have to see how that actually goes. I try to do each one of these a little bit differently, but some strategies just work well enough that you just you got to take them with you. We got nice big reinforced wall, not reinforced, but we got nice big walls all the way around here. So that'll at least force them to kind of funnel along. Um, at the beginning of the horde night, it'll definitely slow them down while they're working on trying to figure out how to get through the brick. So that I'll have to go with. Did it? Oh, I missed. Got you that time. I'm going to do a perimeter sweep of this thing real quick just to kind of see if there's anybody else around the outside. I want the horde to start off with nobody here. All right, I think that's it. Man, it is foggy as hell in here. This is why I didn't have that turned off in the Wasteland Warrior series because, you know, the videos would be much harder to see. But I wanted to keep the ambiance of this POI as we got going here. So I think we got as much cleared out here as we possibly can. Now I just got to figure out how I want to go about doing this. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but uh, I'll get some work into it and then we'll be back here in just a bit once I get this kind of set up and I'll give you a tour of the direction we're going to run with this. All right, then. This one took me a little while, but I am down in the catacombs. You can see I did quite a bit of work here. Um, what I did was I broke down the stairs that they had on all the sides and put extra blocks in there and just upgraded them to cobblestone and then continued the spikes that they had here all the way around. And then let's head upstairs, show you what I did up here. Made a little walking path in case I fall down, which you know, let's hope never happens, but I can get back up here. I put the middle section of just wood bars, and no, they're not all facing the right way, so hopefully your OCD will forgive me, but this way I can kind of see what they're doing, and I can shoot through them, and then I have two more solid platforms over here in case things start falling apart. Hopefully I can get over here. When I try to do these reinforced POI things, what I try to do is I try to use materials that I'd be able to gather within the same day. I mean, it's not, it's not difficult to get a ton of wood and to be able to build a bunch of different things like this. So, uh, other than just a little bit of cobblestone, which by day 45, you'd probably be able to either find it or make it. And that's pretty much it. Um, I Like I said, I don't go overboard. I do have Junkie ready to go here. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set him right here. Let him just kind of do his thing. I have some Molotovs. I got plenty of weapons. I don't have a ton of ammo for every single one of them, or maybe I do. Okay. So I've got quite a bit of ammo here, but I'll be able to walk back and forth through here and shoot them and we'll just see what they do. I don't know if they're going to funnel in and come down the stairs or not, or if they're going to try and dig through the top. I may sit in here all night long and not even see a zombie. Who knows? Uh, I'm guessing that's probably not how it's going to work out, but that's pretty much how it is. Uh, like I said, that's how I do these series. I just try to pick a POI, clear it out, and then try and set it up and see if I can get it to make me survive a horde night. If I die, I die. No big deal. It's not a game over sort of thing. It's just for fun, just to see if I can do these. And uh, we've had pretty good success. A couple times we've had some major collapses and I've died. Other times I've had a cakewalk. So it's kind of all over the board. But all we have left to do now is just wait for the horde to show up and see what happens. So we'll be back when they get here. All right, and we are ready to go. Should be here pretty soon. Now, something else that if I didn't explain this early on that I've explained in the other parts of this series before is that it's not just about whether I can survive, but whether the POI could. So a lot of times what I'll do here is I'll just kind of hang out to the side where I'm safe or whatever and see how well the POI can do against the horde because you give anybody enough ammo and traps and stuff and sure enough, they can survive almost any horde and any POI. 
But the thing is just to kind of see if the POI itself can survive. So what I have up here, if I was like, oh dear God, I have, you know, it's Horde Night. I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go inside, do a little bit of reinforcements and pretty much just kind of hang out and see if uh, the POI will survive or if they'll bring the place down. So a lot of it is not just me seeing if I can kill all of the zombies because, well, yeah, that's a different challenge on its own. You can hear them running around up above me. I'm curious if they're going to try and dig down to me. If they do, they'll end up on top of the, the bars and stuff here with me, and that won't be cool. But anyway, so that's kind of we have to do. This is kind of a hodgepodge. I'll try and kill some. I'll definitely set some on fire. But it really is just to kind of see if this POI, this location, can hold up to a horde. And I think it will. I think if they kill me, that's one thing. But, you know, whether or not this thing will survive, who knows. But, all right. Have y'all figured out how the stairs work yet? Junkie, you ready to go? Let's start killing some zombies as soon as they show up here. Anytime now. Now, something else. Oh, hold on. Here's what I like to do a lot of, too. Go over here. Okay. So, I'm going to disconnect the camera. And that way I can kind of see where they are. I'm still up here. I'm not flying around in god mode or anything. But this way I can see what the zombies are doing. See, there's quite a bit of space between where I'm at and the um, the floor that's down below me here. So, I'm kind of see where they're going. Are they... Are they trying to make it in through the walls? Is that what they're still trying to do? This will at least give everybody a chance to see what the zombies are doing here. Okay, so it looks like they are all trying to get in through the wall right at the moment. They haven't even made it to the inside. Big Mama. Oh, come on. Come on, Glenn. You're right next to the door, man. It's literally right there. One of y'all is going to have to be a leader. <laughs> this might be the easiest horde night ever, which I probably should not say this early on. Once these idiots figure out how to get through the wall, maybe they can figure out where the stairs are. So, right at the moment, all we can do is just kind of hang out and wait for the zombies to show up. Turn off the camera, and I'm back to where I was. Oh, he made it down here. Nice, nice. So, one of you figured it out. Good job. Blew off his arm. And he is down for the count. Alright, so the one person that made it through... I don't know if he made it down the stairs or not. Surely he didn't dig all the way through because they have to get through the ground, several layers of dirt, which doesn't take them very long to get through. And then they have to dig through brick, which does take a little bit of time. But hopefully I'll hear that before it actually happens. And uh, so, yeah, I guess we're just going to hang out here and see if anybody shows up or not and see if all this effort of putting all these rails up here was worth it or if I could have just put a door up on the outside and just sat here and read comic books all night. It sounds like they're trying to dig through the dirt. Hang on. I gotta get over here to solid ground real quick, just in case. Let me disconnect the camera. Hang on. What's going on over here? Where are y'all digging down to? Look, there's stairs right here. What, where, what the hell are y'all doing? Look at this. Y'all are going to collapse your own way to get inside here, man. Oh, okay. So, did y'all tunnel from underneath? It's <laughs> oh, that's funny. What did did y'all like tunneling from underneath the prison? <laughs> it's like Pablo Escobar helping y'all figure out how to get inside here. That's awesome. That is fantastic. All right. Well, at least they're coming kind of towards the stairs, but it also kind of sounds like they're coming in parallel over here. So, maybe they'll end up busting out right over there and not right above me. If they end up busting in right above me, that's going to be a kind of a bit of a problem. I didn't really anticipate them going uber stupid and deciding to dig through miles of dirt and concrete instead of just taking the obvious route down here with the stairs. But, you know, sometimes I give them too much credit and sometimes I don't give them enough credit. But let's go back up there and see what they're doing real quick. All right, so they're making their way... I don't know what they're doing. Okay, so y'all started in here. And now you've tunneled around this way. What in the hell are y'all doing? Look, it's right there. Look, there's a, look, it's right here. It's not even it's not even obstructed. There's stairs going up here. I don't know what they're doing. The zombies have gone mental. Okay, we got a couple. Alright, let's get back down here so we can see what's going on. Come on down. Anybody? 
Oh, also, if you if you've never used it before, when you got a debug mode on, you detach the camera. It's literally just the camera. They're not like following it around. It doesn't attract them. My body is still down here, so they're still attracted to the actual body itself. So me doing that doesn't throw off their pathfinder or anything of the likes here. Okay, so I hear a little bit of brick breaking. Let's uh, get back over here real quick and go see what the hell they're doing now. Oh, hey, there's a munitions box buried underground. Where are y'all tunneling to now? This is crazy, just watching them do this here. Look at this. They're going to dig all the way around the stairs and not go in the stairs. It's right there. <laughs> okay. Well, they're still kind of making their way, like, right... Hold on, these go up and then over there. So they're kind of right along that path over there. I don't know, maybe they found a... I don't know what they found. They didn't find anything obvious, but we've passed midnight now. We've we've survived. This POI is working great. I didn't even modify the POI upstairs. I guess all I had to do was just block off that one door, and <laughs> they wouldn't figure it out. Hey, there's Kyle. I'll let you get him, Junkie. All right, run him, jump on the spikes, and he's dead. There's Big Mama. All right, we got a couple showing up. There we go. All right, finally starting to get a couple stragglers. Hey, you guys, welcome to the party. I guess I should have given better directions outside, but, you know, I assumed y'all could at least figure out how stairs work. Uh-oh. You might be in a bad spot. I didn't really think of you. Hey, don't be don't be shooting the blocks right there, man. That's my way to get up if I fall down. Tom, my big mama, you're down. All right, there's another Glenn. Well, he went down. All right, here's spider zombie up there. This is going really well. I would highly recommend this POI. Just go downstairs and wall it up and take a freaking nap, man. Let's see, where are we at here? Where are the 1,500 kills? Game change 117. So, yeah, we're not going to get any demos, but we could definitely get radiated. We saw a couple of those up there anyway. Let me go up there and see where they are. Have y'all figured out where the stairs are yet? There you go. Y'all went the hardest possible way to get there. There you go. All right, we got a couple. All right, hey, there we go. Sweet. All right. Yeah, you know what? I know sometimes you just got to do things your own way. I get it. No hate. No hate at all. All right, this is this is all right. Now we're just kind of going to see what you guys do. Let Junkie kind of do some work. Yeah, we set some of them on fire, but it's not that big a deal. Sarge, he's down. Spider Boy, I don't think he can get up here. These are a little bit high. I'm not quite sure what their jump range is these days, but I don't think they can get to me. Let's, uh, let's see if we can go over here and have a look. If they, All the blocks are on the sides are only two blocks high, so if they fight through all the spikes, they could technically stack up and get up there, but even then, all they can do is just roam around the outside. There's not a way to get up here without the stairs. Let me go check and see what's going on over here. With more zombies, we are getting some lag. Y'all figured out how to get up to the top part yet? No, you're still underneath? All right, I'm just trying to see where they are at the moment. There they are. Okay, so y'all are working on the columns. Okay, that's not a big deal. Is that is that what y'all are generally doing? Just kind of working on the columns? I mean, that would be my first thought process of where you should go with here. But, uh, yeah, yeah, there aren't too many of you. And I realize having the birds upstairs, um, anytime in a horde night when birds can't, or when zombies can't get to you, it spawns in more birds than normal. I, I'm aware of that here. So, I also know that as long as there's birds up there, it may not spawn in all the rest of the zombies. So, that is something to kind of keep in mind. I'm just throw that right there. Got a couple of them. There we go. Let Junkie do his thing. Got a shotgun just in case things get a little bit hairy. There's Big Mama. Go ahead and just take a little shot at her, a little shot at her. Oh, oh, that's a knee shot. She's looking at me like, why? Why? Just trying to soften him up a little bit. Let Junkie do some work here. Oh, he's all sad now. I think he's out of ammo. Let me go see if I can't reload him a little bit. You all right? Hey, let me put you down here. Reload you real quick, sir. I'm not even sure would be the best direction to put you anymore. How about right... There, there you go. Now you got a little bit of a better angle. Where, where are y'all going now? You know, these little archways do make it a little bit harder to navigate here. All right, I'm gonna disconnect the camera just so we can go down a little bit and see what they're doing. All right, so let's see. Haven't taken down any of the walls yet. Not too many spikes. A few little ones. <laughs> nice. Well done, Sid. Well done indeed. 
Alright, so y'all haven't figured out anything else besides just the columns. Columns are concrete, so they'll hold up quite a bit, and they're close enough together, there's quite a bit of durability between, you know, the ceiling and everything else here to hold up everything. If these columns went away, I think the ceiling would still hold it together, but, again, that's part of the test. Getting a few more down here. Alright, let's go back upstairs and hang out. So where'd Spider-Man go? Oh, Mr. Spider-Zombie, there you are. You Wait, that's not you. You're just a regular old rad. I don't know where Sid went. This is a... This is a... This is an interesting one. This has happened before. I don't remember the last POI we had a situation like this where, you know, we over-prepared for bad, bad things to happen, and the zombies end up ha just went full stupid, and we're never a problem. We just kind of hung out the whole time. And uh, that happens sometimes, and that's totally cool. I mean, if you can break their pathfinding even just a little bit, you can completely wreck the zombies during a horde night. Go ahead and set Big Mama on fire with a couple others there. You can light up the area all nice and pretty like somebody pooped out a bag. Okay, well, I think I kind of went overkill on building this place up. I really over-evaluated you guys here. Let me go down. Let's have a look and see what we got going on here. Some more are finally starting to show up. Nope, you can't make that jump, man. I tried it myself, couldn't do it. So it looks like that's what they're gonna do, is just gonna work on this column and that column. Maybe the one in the corner there, but I really don't think it's gonna be that big a problem. But we'll just kinda hang out and uh, let's see here if we can get a good angle. We can kinda watch them dance around for a minute. Okay, no big deal. All right, Junkie, are you empty again? Are you all sad again? Let me come pick you up here. You ran out of ammo really fast. I'm not sure if you were actually hitting anything this time or not, or if you're just firing at the walls, but here, let me let me put you back here so you can do some more work. Come out right there. That work? There you go. I do miss the Junkie from Alpha 18. He was so much better than now the one in Alpha 19. He's all like pew, pew, pew. Even level six, I got my robotic turret, all the, or my robotic skill all the way up, and I got the extended drum mag on him so he can hold a little bit more, but he's still, it's just like pew, 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 pew. I miss the Gatling gun sound from the last one, you know? It's just, uh, it just doesn't have the same effect as it does now. It's all like sad sounding, really. Uh, we, so I think we got a couple more showing up out there. It's almost 3 a.m. They, let's see what they did. They got rid of one block on that column there, but that's about it. And the rest of the columns they haven't done much to. They start off on one, then they kind of move to another. They've done some damage. They got rid of a chunk of the spikes, and there's the occasional zombie that gets up and runs around there, but they can't get to me from over there. I still hear a lot of birds upstairs. Glenn, isn't part of your job handling all the birds on the roof? as lead janitor or lead custodial engineer I should say I think it's your job I'm not even getting to use any of my molotovs here I need to I need to find a good spot to do this here I brought all these so I can play with them and you guys y'all aren't doing anything this is a this is kind of a disappointing horde I'm gonna be honest with you are you empty again how about you conserve your bullets a little bit better huh I thought you used to be a little smarter than that. Now you just shoot it whatever you want to. Here, let me... Also, your accuracy kind of sucks, man. The bloom on your uh, crosshairs here is a tad bit high. All right, well, apparently I can't shoot any better than you can with you, so I'm not going to talk too much trash. So scoot you right there. There we go. Do your thing, man. I guess uh, we're just going to hang out and see here. We got less than an hour to go until bingo hour here, and... Ooh, we finally got a, we got a white down here. Nice. Haven't seen any cops. Granted, they're probably upstairs trying to figure out how to get up here anyway. Uh, they're the ones that will cause the most problem because they can bring down some of these blocks. Let's go look and see what we got going on over here. Y'all still trying to figure out another way to get inside the door? Anybody up here? Yeah, where'd that bird... You know what? This isn't cheating. I promise. I'm getting rid of the bird. If there's birds around, like I said, it stops from zombies spawning in here because it sees them as an entity as well. Okay, so y'all... Okay, y'all didn't do that digging. Y'all did some work to the outside of the the uh, bricks and stuff for sure. Alright, let's go back down there and see if there's anything going on down here. Junkie's still doing his thing. Couple loot bags. 
The irradiated Sid right there in the middle. Go ahead and just shoot him right in the spine. Ruin his football career entirely. Oh sweet, they got a little they got a little walking path up there. Nice. Good job, y'all. Kinda figuring some stuff out. I'm gonna light you on fire just to help just to help everybody at home see a little bit better. It's getting kinda dark over there. Mr. White. Go ahead and just end your puny existence. I do like the Desert Eagle, or the Desert Vulture, I guess you can call this adulture, if you want. So it doesn't sound nearly as cool as Deagle, though. So yeah, as I said in the beginning of the video, if you have guys, if you guys have suggestions for other POIs you want me to do, drop them in the comments down below. I do have a running list of ones that you've suggested, and if you do guys, if you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos, um, I'll do I'll do more of these. These it's kind of become one of my things over the years of doing these POI versus Blood Moon Horde. I need to put it all into one uh, playlist so you can go see a lot of the other ones I've already done. And that we'll know if, you know, you're suggesting one I've already done or not. Now, typically, if you respond in the comments with one I've already done, I'll just say, hey, I already did it. Possibly even link you to the video. But there we go. There's 4 a.m. We made it. We, uh, not even almost a threat. This was not, this was not even almost a threat. We definitely overprepared. I greatly, greatly overestimated their ability to figure out how basic level stairs work. I, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Call me crazy, but I figure by this many days in game or whatever, the zombies will figure out how a large section of stairs work. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe just because there's enough space between me and the ground up above. It's a big mama. The, um, that it's throwing off their pathfinding and they're thinking, Hey, I can't use stairs here that's wide open and obvious. I'm going to have to just dig a hole. Are you down again? I swear, man, you go through ammo faster than I do. I'm a little bit low on ammo here, so before the next video, we're going to have to make some more. So, use your shots carefully. So we'll finish clearing this up real quick, and then we'll go upstairs and have a look and see what these idiots did. So if you're thinking about using this POI, um, go down to the catacombs, make yourself a little platform to hang out on up there, and basically do nothing now granted the the thing is if you don't do anything during horde night you're just completely afk until morning and you don't do a single thing then what you got to deal with is after the horde night is over the when they finally do stop running you still got to clean up the mess so while you may not have to do a lot and risk dying during the actual horde night you still have a lot of zombies you have to clean up afterwards so do keep that in mind that an afk base is fantastic until you have to clean up the mess afterwards so, let's clean up this mess. I think I got all the ones from downstairs. It's hard to tell. I still hear some screaming, but I can't tell if that was one of the idiots that's upstairs or downstairs. But we'll make sure we're reloaded and we'll go just see. They're not running or anything now, so I'm not worried. Go ahead and pick up Junkie. You did good last night, sir. You did real good. All right, so y'all cleared this little spot away. Make sure there's nobody else down here. Okay, it sounds like the rest of you are upstairs. So look, all right, they get rid of this column, that column, that column. They they got rid of the columns, and you see everything's still hanging out just fine up there. So, you know, like I said, the structure of the walls and the arches and everything coming down from the ceiling is definitely helping that stay afloat. So that's actually a really, really good idea here if you're, uh, you know, thinking about doing this is to know that as long as they're still floating, you'll be totally safe. See, guys, see, this is the stairs I was telling you about. It's right here. Is there anybody in here? Okay, let's see. Do we have a screamer in here? Is that who I hear? Where, where are you? You're making a lot of noise. Hey, where you is? Hey, Samara, is that you in the corner? Hey, pooped out of back. Hey, you. Ow. Hey, bam. What the hell, man? Can't you see I'm trying to talk to the lady at the corner here? Kind of harshing my vibe, if you know what I mean. There you are. Hey, what's up, girl? Did you call any of your friends? I mean, I'd prefer if you didn't. Okay. I think that's all the idiots here. Well, there's one more over there. Of course there is. Glenn, what's up, man? 
I'm sure there's probably going to be the occasional little straggler here and there. No big deal. Are you looking at me? Let's see what they did. They added windows all the way around to this wall. Look, they just built, they knocked out two all the way around. And then they they dug in all over the place here. Look what they did to the place. This would be a lot of work to repair the outside walls. Just like window here, window there. And then all of this. I don't know what I don't know what this is. If anybody has any ideas why the pathfinding made them go all stupid and try and dig out their own special tunnel, let me know. If maybe there's something with the stairs. I mean, it's just stairs. There's nothing here. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are a lot of fun. Definitely leave me comments of other POIs you want me to try. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And you know, hit the little bell to get notified when new videos go live. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.